Hey, what's going on, guys? It's John here again today from Toxic Spikes, coming at you with another Pokemon narrated Sun, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon OU Wi Fi battle. It's just messing around in the Battle Factory earlier. I like to play a couple of those randomized metas just to get warmed up sometimes. But um, yeah, sorry I took a little break there. No, I'm not just going to upload a couple of videos and then dip out for another six years. <laughs> I had a really busy week, but it is now Friday, so I figured I would do a new video. I also, uh, I think this was good because it gave you, it gave uh, you guys a chance to answer my last question of the day and comment on the video. Got some interesting responses to my last question, which was if you could bring any Pokemon from the Uber tier down to OU, who would you bring down? So I'm going to go ahead and discuss this while we get into our first game here. Looks like we're up against a hyper offense team. I mean, maybe it's like a more of a bulky offense. I basically consider anything with a Tapu Koko Halucha combo to be hyper offense, really, because you've got a sweeper who has an entire other Mon that exists solely to set him up. So, all right, I'm just gonna lead him with Lando here, as he leads him with his own Lando. So, um, I actually saw some interesting responses about uh, about which Pokemon you would bring down. Um. So one of the one of them that I saw that I've actually never really thought of before was hmm, let's see he's the HP Ice variant. I do outspeed him though. I could get my rocks up. You know what? I think I'll just go for HP Ice on my own since I either I just won two speed ties in a row or I'm just straight up faster than him. So I'm max speed with a jolly nature. So I'm thinking it's the latter. Um, yeah, so the most interesting response I saw by far, I thought, was uh, the idea of bringing Darkrai down. Now, it's kind of funny because Darkrai is uh, an amazing Pokemon. And he's not really someone I ever would have thought that would ever be a consideration for the OU tier. Especially coming from Gen 4 and 5, where he was just absolutely broken. But I actually do think that Darkrai might have... I don't know if he would really balance out the meta in OU or if he would change it up a significant amount. But I do know for a fact that he would not be nearly as busted as he was in previous generations. So I was actually looking into it. And as it would appear, he actually had his signature move, Dark Void, nerfed. So now it's only like 50% accuracy. Ooh, going to get that special attack raise. Um, so now that is his signature move, I mean, that was the whole reason he was amazing was because he had a very high accuracy sleep move combined with his passive ability, Bad Dreams, which would just chip away at you every turn. And then you can, you know what, plus one special attack. I'm just going for the Flare Cannon here. And he, all he's going to do is get rid of the rocks. Good. Yep, that'll kill him. So, you you know, you combine that with the fact that he passively chipped away damage. He had access to Nasty Plot and outsped almost everything in both the OU and Uber tier. But nowadays, he actually has to rely on Hypnosis because it has better accuracy than his, uh, his Dark Void. Good job, Game Freak, by the way. I don't know why you nerfed his... Uh... He's going to use Substitute? What? Ah, of course I missed Flare Cannon. Um, <laughs> he goes for a high jump kick. Thankfully, it doesn't do a whole lot. And I can just go out to Toxapex. Uh, really good counter. I just scald him. So he's actually going to go for the sword stance, but I burn him, which is what I I was intending on doing anyways. He's going to go for acrobatics as I infest him. I really like this infestation toxic set that I have on Toxapex because you can actually catch a lot of people off guard and uh, essentially just trap them in, completely taking them out of the game and making them useless, like this Hawlucha here. Um... <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying with Darkrai, is that uh, they, nerfing that signature moves accuracy down so far, making him use Hypnosis, means most of the time he can't get off a guaranteed sleep, which is actually like pivotal to his entire style of play. The whole reason he's so good is because he can put somebody to sleep, take them out of the game, passively chip away at said foe if they decide to sting in, and get a free Nasty Plot up. Now his Nasty Plot really isn't guaranteed, and... Um, He's essentially just a fast special attacker. And it's not like his typing is amazing. You know, it's just dark type. So, I don't know. Like, his base stat total is still ridiculously high. You got to keep that in mind. His special attack, again, is still absurdly high. He's got a really good, strong, reliable stab attack in Dark Pulse. Oh, and my opponent just left the game. So, it looks like we're off to a good start. Um, but, yeah. 
Oh, so, oh, just another update, guys. I'm up to the, uh, my rating right now is 1,559. So these are 1,500 ELO games. So you're probably, again, going to see some more, <laughs> some more quality matches here. But just real quick, not to get too sidetracked here, if I were to make a new team, just look at Darkrai. Yeah, so I mean, his special attack stat, when you look at it, is a base 135 and speed is base 125. So I'm going to try and compare that to another strong special attacker from the tier. So like, Tapu Lele is really strong, and she only has 130 base special attack with a 95 speed. Uh, who's another strong special attacker? You know, we've got Blacephalon, who has base 151 special attack but 107 speed see that's that's why Darkrai is so deadly and that's probably if I had to take a guess as to why he's not in the OU tier it's simply because of his base stat total it is just way too high like even his defenses yeah sure he's not the bulkiest thing in the world but getting base 90 defenses on both ends is actually pretty good and it means a lot because when you think about how fast he is one of the best ways to take down Darkrai would be through priority moves um so you could take advantage of uh, or so you can eliminate the speed factor altogether but then the problem becomes you eliminate the speed factor but yeah he can still take that extreme speed of that uh you know that water shuriken pretty decently and as far as his move pool goes it's actually amazing because he doesn't all he needs is focus blast nasty plot dark pulse give him like a coverage move like a hidden power and ice uh sorry uh hypnosis yeah, and then give him like Ice Beam or something like that. You just give him a coverage move. And, oh man, I didn't even know he gets access to like these signature moves like Spatial Rend. I mean, there's no reason to ever use it, but still. <laughs> he was also given a bit of a power boost with the addition of the Z moves. Because usually Focus Blast is just on there as a coverage option. And so you ideally won't be using it a lot. It's going to be in there to stop like your one check, which is like... Maybe it's a heat ran, you know, maybe it's a steel type, maybe it's like a dark, another dark type or something. So what would you do? You would use uh, the Z, the Phytonium Z in order to get a guaranteed hit and uh, take out your counter. And then you would just sweep the rest of the people with uh, like dark pulls. Okay, so here we go. Looking at his team, it looks like... This is definitely more of a balanced team here. Not a full-on stall or hyper offense. Uh, the pivotal member of his team is going to be Mega Alakazam. He's going to look to sweep me with that. So I'm just going to lead him with Landorus. I lead him with him most of the time. Yeah, so then as far as other Uber drops go, uh, I don't know. Like I was thinking the other day, I was talking to one of my friends about this, uh, the potential of bringing Palkia down from the Ubers tier into OU. I personally don't think that that's a good idea. Wow, this guy is really bulky. So what I'm going to do here is I kind of actually want to save my Landorus. I don't really have a switch, though, so I think what my best bet is to just go for the knockoff, see what item it is. Ooh, I get the crit, which actually does kind of matter. He's an Assault Vest Landorus. No wonder he took that so well. I've never seen that set before. So... I might outspeed his Jirachi. So if I do, a knockoff is going to be a really good play here because it'll be super effective. All right, so he's probably... If I had to guess, he's probably like a Scarf Rachi. I don't know. It's actually really important. <laughs> I still think Zygarde's a good switch here. I love this set, by the way. Sub Protect Toxic. I just go for 1,000 arrows. He doesn't really have a switch in for that. But yeah, um, Palkia, again, I think that what's what's holding Palkia back from being dropped a tier is his extremely high base stat total. So many of these mons that would probably be like, they're not broken and they can't function well in the Ubers tier because they're just outclassed so hard. But due to, you know, just due to the fact their base stat totals are so high. I mean, like, look at, like, Kyrian Black right now. His He's got like the worst move pool of all time not not of all time but you know what i mean like he doesn't even have a stab ice attack a uh, physical ice attack outside of freeze shock which is horrible this is risky but i'm gonna go for toxic yeah because he could have subbed there now he go oh, i won the speed tie either that or uh i'm just straight up faster i go for my own sub oh my gosh this is amazing i'm just gonna go for toxic on him because he uh he traces the aura break so i get an encore what 
I don't know why I've been seeing so much Encore Alakazam recently, but at least I'm going to for, uh, force him to, uh, I don't know, waste some PP here. I'll go for Protect here because it's going to have priority, and even if he wants to go for an Encore, I'll be uh, protected from him. So I'm going to go for Toxic. Is this going to make me keep protecting? This is annoying. You know what? I'll get some leftovers recovery here. Not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I was actually looking too because the Z moves have made a lot of these high base stat total guys like so ridiculous. Because even look at like, ooh, we got the double protect. When you look at like uh, Kyrian Black, even despite the fact that he doesn't get at least Ice Punch, which I think is BS, you know, he has the ability to uh, to run the Z move, which stops him from getting, uh, which stops him from not having any physical stab ice options at all. It just means you basically only have one, which kind of sucks, but you know. It is what it is. Oh, I got to Hoopa there on the predicted psychic, which means I take no damage. Um, I'm just gonna go for Dark Pulse here as he goes to Magirna like I expected. But yeah, because like I was looking at Palkia and Palkia, I was thinking about it with the. Uh, if you were to give him Z Heal Block, he actually gets a free nasty plot and he can stop any of his counters from healing up on him. And then his uh, either like Draco Meteor or Hydro Pump or even Fire Blast as a coverage move. He would just be unstoppable. He would be the OU tier. Every single team would have him or a counter for him. And it's no different than... Uh, that's honestly, if you ask me like... Ooh, I didn't get flinched. That's nice. Uh, if you if you ask me, like I probably would have to say that if Kyrian Black even had Ice Punch, he'd probably be Ubers. I don't know, maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but still, that's... <laughs> it's not that big of a stretch. I mean, his base stat total is ridiculous. And he has the ice typing, which is a really good offensive type. So, his Jirachi's going to go down. I don't know why he just did that. Um, But yeah, anyways, not getting too off topic here. So, as far as Ubers that would drop down to OU... <laughs> this guy's getting mad in the chat. Uh, I can't really think of anybody... There's a, a couple guys that would be kind of like borderline that would just barely maybe make it in the OU tier, but their base stat totals would just leave them way, way outclassing everything else. So that kind of leads me into my new question of the day. Oh, uh, yes. This guy said that he would have won ever he would have won this game 10 out of 10 times if his Zygarde hadn't lost that speed tie earlier. Okay. All right, dude. <laughs> I'm not even max speed Zygarde. But yeah, so I was um my question of the day today is actually if you could remove one mechanic from the game or change one mechanic, what would it be? So, what I mean by this is when it comes to the status conditions. This is mainly what I'm talking about, but you could include flinch if you want. That's kind of a status condition. If you could remove something from the game, what would it be? So if I could remove any condition from the game or change any condition, it would be freeze. I think freeze needs to be reworked. I think it was a mistake to put it in the game in Gen 1, and they're kind of just so far along now that they can't they can't just take it out of the game. It's always been there since the beginning, but they got to do something about it. Because the problem is, is right now it just exists as annoying after effect, like a 10% effect on stuff like Ice Beam. And it's just, it's unfair. It's a completely unfair mechanic. You only have a 10% chance of thawing out every turn. There's like three moves in the entire game I can even think of that will reliably thaw you out. So if your Pokemon gets frozen, they're basically dead. Except they're not even dead. More often than not, they're actually worse than being dead because you can give your opponent free switches and free turns to set up, and you have to waste an entire turn switching out of the frozen dead weight guy. So if I could change freeze, I would either remove it from the game, or I would say that like you're only allowed to be frozen for X amount of turns before your guy automatically th thaws out. Uh, kind of like how it's sleep. They really just kind of nerf it down to a respectable place right now where it's you get between one and three turns of sleep. I think that's reasonable, you know, just based on how you inflict it and how often you can inflict it. So if you guys could change any any condition, any status condition in the game, uh, what would it be? How would you do it? I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say. Anyways, thank you for watching my videos. Today was 
I mean, today was amazing. It looks like uh, I won two games in a row. We're just about at 1580 ELO, uh, getting close to that 1600 bracket. I'm really hoping that um, I can reach maybe 1700 pretty soon, show you guys some higher ELO games. Anyways, thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the support, guys, and uh, looking forward to seeing you in my next video. All right, peace.